Okay, so Max, tell us about the uh, rural connectivity platform we got here. The main idea of this project is to provide low cost and low power long distance communication to rural towns because the uh, wired infrastructure is very poor or even absent. So the idea is to use uh, two Wi Fi devices mm -hmm. and the long distance parabolic antennas and high gain. Yep. Uh, we have modified Wi-Fi malware in order to uh, allow to work for long distances because it's just the uh, indoor communication. Yeah, yeah. Well, initially. well, how is this different than than the long haul Wi-Fi links that that exist currently? Uh, I mean, this this technology isn't new, right? I mean, there, you can maybe I don't know about the distance, but there already is the ability to do uh, uh, long haul Wi-Fi point-to-point um, -point connections. Yeah, but I think it's the mm, sorry. Yeah. I just don't understand which difference with what. Oh, okay. I'm so, um, well, I'm just trying to, to to understand if if there's something new in what you're what's going on here. Or if no, it's, if it's this, a this, okay. this platform actually is uh, quite old. Two years ago, or three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, it was introduced. I see. Okay. Yeah, but uh, now we uh, have already. Uh, Systems in place. So it really, it's it's a, it's an overall platform. This yeah. this piece isn't anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, okay. uh, in I'm general. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Main pieces of the. Yeah. yeah. This is the breakdown yeah. of how it works. And uh, uh, now it's used in China. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, non-adaptive antennas in uh, Russia, in Siberia, uh, with wow. adaptive antennas. Uh, and when you say adaptive antennas, is that what we have over yeah, here? Yeah, Durable yeah, antennas? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you tell us about this? So, this is the initial standard system with parabolic surface. Uh -huh. RCP system. Yeah. But for long distances, it's uh, very hard to align it properly. Yeah. So, uh, another solution is to use adaptive antenna, which is. Uh, which consists of uh, one adaptive element which is not fed the rate. Uh -huh. So it consumes much low power and it has the lower cost. And but it, it doesn't physically move, right? It's all electronically yeah, adapted? Yeah, it's, it's electronically. We can yeah. electronically steer it. And this one is just a cheaper version of this. So right. you don't Definitely. need a wide range durability. You can yeah. use one yeah. instead of this. So has, it's based on the same principle, but we put the scheduling elements around the active element. I see. Uh, what did you just call these? Uh, sorry? Ske scheduler elements? Yeah, this is scheduler. It's, it's just a dipole uh -huh. with varactor, so we can change the phase of the reflected wave. I see. Huh, and cool. it's a passive element, so just a Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And this is the demonstration of, of, of the, this one. Ah, right. And now it's scanning around the Berkeley campus and shows the Wi-Fi stations which are now active. I see. So, it, so, so we can actually uh, pinpoint where they... To, yeah, according to RSSI yeah. and the direction. Huh. That's very cool. And here it is. No, the it's are. just receives the signals. Not right, it's, it's passively, what, it's passively what, receiving. Potentially we can associate with each of these points. I see. So then going back to the full RCP platform, the idea is you could take some of these antennas, put them in areas where maybe it's uh, a rougher environment or weather changes or something like that, and, and just in terms of uh, it not the antennas not being aligned. That's, uh, yeah, right. yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. And moreover, we can use the adaptive antennas for point to multi point links. Oh, you can? Okay. Hmm, okay. Very cool. Yeah, this is amazing. I, um, I mean, obviously, there's a huge need for such things because there's many places with big, great distances and no wired connectivity. So. And actually, these antennas with the same base, uh, with the same physical principles can be applied for producing antennas for WiMAX, for example, or for 60 gigahertz millimeter wave communications. Yeah. Wow. So. 
Under those circumstances, you, what sort of bandwidth could you put across that? Uh, it's a standard Wi-Fi bandwidth, actually. So it's about 10 megabit per second for 50 kilometers. Right, 50 kilometers. Cool. Well, thank you so much.